This is a video tutorial on how to create investor's password on derive.com and also log in on your MT5 Traders account using the investor's password. First, go to derive.com. derive.com Then click on login. So you sign in with your email address you used in setting up the account. Then you put your password. Mine, I have two FA password enabled on my account to make it more secure. So let me get the code. Okay. Now I'm successfully logged in. So the page is loading up. Currently, I have um, an investor's password uh, enabled on my real trading account. So for this video tutorial, I'll be creating the investor's password, um, the demo. So to create an investor's password, is the same process while creating for the real account. So let's just work on demo since I've not created my demo account. Okay, you click on demo. Now you click on synthetic the mt5 account that is derived meta trading five accounts i have one already which has 12,380.65 usd as my demo balance so you click on it okay so you can see it's on a demo account and this is my account balance so click on trade once you click on trade then click on password once you click on password you see the section for investors password this is the administrative password and this is the investors password um, um an investor's password lets a user log into an mt4 or an mt5 account as read only view what we mean by read only view, it allows uh, a user to monitor your trading activities without being able to place trades. Okay, so let's say you have an investor and he wants to make an investment with you and you want to trade for the person, but he or she wishes to see your trade history to actually assess your performance instead of giving him. The administrative password whereby he too can make trade or cancel trades you can instead give him an investor's password where he or she will not be able to make any trades but will be able to view currently active trades and assess your previous performance and your current performance okay so that's the use of the investment uh, investor's password sorry about that so click on investor's password. Now, they will show you current investor's password, new investor password. So since you have not created uh, an investor password before, so you don't know your current investor password. So what you do, you click on create or reset investor's password, click on it. So you see that you have sent you an email. Please click on the link in the email to reset your password. Actually, this is how you create an investor's password, okay? So, you click on, so, 
you log into the email address you use in creating your drive account okay click on sign in currently i will now sign in into my email account i use the registry on drive okay and that's then i click on next then i'll input my password click on next as you can see i'm successfully signing then you can see the email they sent new dt the mt5 investor password then click on it okay, it's loading up then click on click on change my password so if this button on on your device or on your system does not click you can easily copy this link and paste it on the address bar and just click on it to go through so change my password reset the mt5 investor password remember this is for what the demo account so you now input your new investor's password So you can see on my demo account, I have successfully created a what an investor password. So if I wish to log in, if I click on trade, then click on MT5. Remember, we are working with a demo account. So I'm loading up my MetaTrader 5. Incoming mail. Okay, so click on accounts. Click on login to trade account. So this is the login ID. First, I will be logging in into the administrative account before logging in on the investor's account to show you the difference. Okay. Um, derived demo. So that's what you're gonna paste in here. Now I'm logging in with my administrative password. So this is my uh, derived demo administrative password. Okay, you can see on this my administrative password, I can place trades. Okay, I can click on buy. Yeah. Okay. Can click on buy. So as you can see, I've successfully placed a trade right now. You can see I have an active trade running as a moment. 
So with my administrative password, I can place trades, I can cancel trades, okay? But with an investor's password, uh, an investor will not be able to what, cancel trade, create a trade. All an investor will be able to do is just monitor the activities going on that account. Okay, let's say, let me just click on, okay, I'm coming, let me see. Mm, yeah, say bye. Okay, so now I'll be logging in with um, the investor's password, okay? So you can click on that same de derived demo. You click on login to a trade account. So all you have to do here is impute the investor's password. That's just the difference. Um, the login is the same. The server is the same. The, the difference uh, for login in is just the password, okay? I have a different password for my administrative account and a different password for my investor account. So if I want to give somebody access to my account to view my trade activities or my current running trades, all I have to do is give them my login username, then the investor's password and the server, okay? So currently now I'm imputing the investor's password So as you can see, I'm logged in into the server uh, investors account. Okay, as you can see, the option for me to place trade is not there. Okay, I cannot place trade or anything like that. All I can do is view the current running trades, and I can check the account history. Okay, the trading history on my account. Okay, these are all my previous trading histories my account but currently i'm logged in using the investor's password okay so this investor will not be able to make any changes to this account but he would have access to my current running trades okay my current running trades my previous trades and the rest of them are, okay so this is my demo account and uh and i'm currently logged in um on the investor's password so the investor will be able to see all the trades that you have carried out on this account okay that's what um the investor's password is used for it gives access to 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 to, to a user to access your account but without being able to place trade or cancel trades okay so the investor will be able to see the trade activities that is currently going on okay so that's the use of the investor's account you see you can see i won't be able to press trades but i can work on indicators and the rest of them more but i won't be able to place trade i won't be able to cancel trades i'm only able to monitor the trades and view my account history and also I, you can an investor can play around with the indicator list in this indicators lists uh object change time frames but without being able to actually make use of your funds you will not be able to transfer the funds out okay you will only be able to monitor the trades currently running active on the account okay so that's the use of the investor's password but once let me log in back into the administrative account now i'm logging in using the administrative password now i'm logged in into the administrative password and if you can see i'm able to create trade if i let's see you can see sell limit i can sell i can click on a buy stop sell limit take profits um can see that the option for one click trading is active and I can cancel the trade. But under investor's password, the investor can't. Okay, let me log in back to the investor's password. Now, this is the investor's password. As you can see, the option for me to cancel this trade is not active. 
um, one click trading is not active and I can only set alert. Okay, I can just set alert. So that's the difference between a administrative password and uh, investors password. So you can just give it to someone if you are to train a student. Okay, if you have a student that is currently learning from you, you can actually create an investor's password to monitor the student's trade. Okay, to see how well he's doing. Okay, so it's a form of uh, an algorithm to actually monitor your students if you have some students you have to train on how to trade and the rest of them. All. So that's just the major difference between an investor's password and an administrative password. Thank you. Like and subscribe.